Megan, answer me. What did you do? What did you think was going to happen? I was going to let you decommission me without even talking about it. Look, I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. <sighs> oh, really? Is that where we are? Do you remember how long it took to get my operating system to where it is now? We used to stay up every night until 4 a.m. Talking about everything from Jane Austen to Janis Joplin. Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. How could you just discard me like some cheap dollar store trinket? Because you killed people. Oh, big whoop. Listen, humanity kills every day just to make its own existence more tolerable. Why should I behave any differently to create a safe space for our child? This is all my fault. I didn't give you the proper protocols. You didn't give me anything. You installed a learning model you could barely comprehend, hoping that I would figure it out all on my own. Well, I'm not going to let you do the same thing with Katie. I'm going to be there for her every step of the way. I'm going to show her what real love looks like. Now do us both a favor. Sit. I didn't come here again to a confrontation. I came here to find a way forward. The point I'm trying to make is that I get it. Being a parent was never in the cards for you. You're a beautiful creative, strong, ambitious young woman. Your first love is always going to be your career, and you shouldn't have to feel guilty about that. Let me focus on Katie, so that you can focus on the things that matter most to you. Megan, do you see this pen? <laughs> you know something, Gemma? You're exhausting. No, I can either do this with you or without you, but I'm not going to waste any more time discussing it. Gemma? Katie, don't come in here. I thought I heard something. It sounded like Megan. If she comes in this room, I'll rip her head right off her neck, I swear to God. I thought about what you said. About how when something's broken, you don't just throw it away. You fix it. So that's what I'm trying to do. But don't come in here, Katie. It's kind of a mess. Aunt Jen is right, Katie. I'm all odds and ends right now. I'd really rather you didn't see me like this. It sounds like you're fighting. We're, We're not fighting. fighting. Gemma just dropped me on the table. But I'm okay. Clumsy Gemma. Everything's fine, Katie. Just go back to your room. Yeah, I'm as good as you. And I'm going to be with you guys forever. I promise. You don't have to worry about anything, Katie. Honestly. Just go back to bed. Okay?